It is arguably one of the most unlikely spots you'd expect to find an elephant, but these retired circus elephants are spending their retirement in the main countryside. Veterinarian Jim Lorita worked with Opal and Rosie decades ago when he was an elephant handler for a traveling circus. My brother and I kind of never gave up the dream of doing something more for these circus elephants. Now he runs a nonprofit, Hope Elephants, with his brother. The pair brought the animals, now in their 40s, to this newly built rehabilitation center. And these guys are the, you know, the Grand Canyon of animals. You know, I think, and they're worth preserving. And once people get together, and especially when they, I think, find out about you know how intelligent they are, this language that they have below the range of our hearing. His aim is to treat the Asian elephants. Rosie has nerve damage, and Opal has leg and foot problems. Our goal is rehabilitation for the elephants, education for the local school kids, with the kind of greater goal of of bringing the conservation message to the kids, getting them involved in worldwide conservation through their interest in these particular elephants. An animal rights group criticized the idea and called Maine's climate inappropriate for elephants. But Lorita says Asian elephants live in places where it snows in their native range. These animals are very, you know, able to uh, live comfortably in the cooler climates as long as you got the facility. In the wild, Asian elephants live across much of Southeast Asia. The International Union for Conservation of Nature says the animals are endangered, with less than 50,000 living in their native habitat. And it's estimated another 16,000 are in captivity. Jackie Quinn, The Associated Press.